start. Hi, I'm Sandeep Gandre from Portes Camp RNDT. I am here to brief you about the important performance parameter specified in Portes Camp catalog for brush GC motors. Catalog specifies mechanical dimensions, electrical performance of individual winding, excitation, thermal parameters, mechanical parameters, and speed torque curve. The out, outer dimension specifies the mechanical dimensions like outer woody, total length of the motor, shaft extension, shaft diameter, and the grid length. The details other than mechanical dimension that are specified on top are output power in watts, type of competition whether pressures or graphite, number of segments, and the average weight in grams. Now we come to an important topic of understanding electrical parameters that are specified under different winding heads. There are three categories in which these performance parameters are specified. Number one, measured values. Number two, maximum recommended values. And number three is the intrinsic parameters. These values are specified at 25 degrees Celsius of ambient temperature of winding that is also known as cold data. The coil or the winding is shown for your ready reference to understand. The coil which we manufacture is Q type coil or helical wound coil. It is also known as a honeycomb wound coil. This coil is so designed that we achieve the performance at different voltage without, without changing the mechanical regulation of the same motor or the same models. Now we come to the first category of measured values. First is measuring voltage. It is a DC voltage on the motor connection which all the nominal data is based. This voltage can be changed higher or lower provided set limits are not ex exceeded. Now we come to the next slide of recommended values. These are maximum continuous current, maximum continuous down and maximum angular acceleration. Maximum continuous current is nothing but a current at which the motor heats up to its maximum permissible temperature. So it is a threshold value. We should not go beyond this current. And maximum continuous torque is the torque which is exerted by the motor when the maximum continuous current is passed. Now we come to the next slide of intrinsic value. Intrinsic value is nothing but the important parameter of the motors. The first is back came of connection. It is the voltage generated in the motor where it is known as the generated from 1000 RP. Then next is torque constant. It is the specific torque generated by the motor where 1 ampere is current is passed. Intrinsic value, we are continuing. Motor regulation, which is very important parameter, it is R by K square. It is the slope constant of the speed torque curve and it also reflects core loss or the efficiency of the motor. The lower it is, the better the motor. Now we come to the thermal behavior of the motor. First is thermal resistance. Thermal resistance is nothing but a ratio of temperature rise to the core loss of the motor. So lower the temperature is a better the performance. So lower the thermal resistance is a better the motor is like. Next is time constant. It is thermal time constant is nothing but time required to reach for rotor and body to 63% of its last final temperature. So higher this value is better for the motor. Next, we come to the slide of mechanical parameters of the motor. First is maximum axial static force. This is a force required to press fit the shaft and applied it is on shaft when shaft is stand still, whereas there is no residual damage occurs at the shaft. Next is axial play, next radial play, shaft runout. It is nothing but eccentricity of the shaft with respect to its center. Now we have come to the last slide that is my, the speed torque curve of the motor. It shows the maximum limit of the motor. 
This is the maximum continuous torque range and the maximum permissible speed. This is the recommended working range or the continuous working range and this is the temporary working range. This depends on the thermal capability of the motor. We are already discussing on the other side that there is continuous working range, there is a temporary working range and there is a maximum recommended speed defined which depends on the mechanical design of the motor.